Hi everyone, it's Kay here. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, I've had a request to, um, if I had a quick tutorial on uh, making my flower, uh, flowers that I make. So uh, that's what I'm going to do today. This is a die, flower building die from Uniquely Creative. And I'm very sorry, I don't know the name of it. I think it's just called Flower Building Die and I don't know the number. So if you look on their website, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. And I haven't detached the flowers, I just cut them like that because I just didn't want to lose any bits. I could have taken the leaf out because I don't tend to use the leaf leaf bits. So anyway, so I've just cut a whole random, I've got cardstock, papers, and because of whatever papers I have to cut, they never turn out the same as the ones I've made before. So I'm just going to push them to one side. And what I normally do is I get the big, big ones, the really big ones, and lay them out. This one's obviously not cut properly because I think it was a bit um, thick cardstock. So I lay them out like this. All the big ones that I have. Until I run out. That's a smaller one, sorry. Until I run out. One of the things I also use is I used book, old, book pa old book pages. Like I get old books and um, use those as well. From, for my hobby. No, that's the big one. Is that the big one? No, that's the small one. Yeah. <laughs> when they cut, it's a bit hard to tell sometimes. And sometimes I cut two the same. It's kind of like that. There's two the same. So just put them in a line, like I'm in a line. <laughs> just the way that I like to operate. Just keep going until I run out of big ones. Couple more, and then <clears throat> I go through with the next next um, size, and then I work out where I want to put them. So, like that one would go nicely with there, but it would also go with that one. Could go with this one. I like it, like it there, so it's going to go there. The purple one could go on the bright pink one like that. Dotty one could go. Go on this orange one there or the orange one there. Quite like it on that orange one there. It's just a matter of just what I like really. And another big one. Uh, this is a cream one, so the cream one could go. Where should I put it? What do you think? Options. I think I might put it on this one here. An orange. Too much the same. I'll put it on this one here. This one. That goes lastly there. Another one of those could go on this one here. This is the, this is the fun bit, I think, doing the, the whole what goes what where. Pink. What do we do? Where should I put the pink? I'll just go on the white one here. I've got to fix that. I'll fix it, cut that out better. But you can't really see where it's not being cut properly, really. That goes without nicely there. Sometimes I can't. I don't necessarily find one to match with, so I might just put it to one side for the moment. The pink one. Do you reckon on the red? Do you reckon? Yes. Why not? This is another bluish one that goes nicely on there. Found another big text one. Text ones are good because they break up the um, other things, so that can go there. I think. I think another cream one can go on there. Just to sometimes it's good just to have neutral tones on some of them. Hard to decide for some of them because they just don't know. If that goes. Yeah. Oh. Good. Well, one good thing about the book, the book page ones is they do go with lots of lots of colours, which helps. Another big one that I two of the big ones I've forgotten about. Another big one. Goodness me. 
Yeah, I knew I had to be one of the dotted ones, so I put that there. And two more. Keep finding them. So that's what I keep just keep going and just keep matching them up and working out what I like them, what works well. And it's, it's a personal choice, you know, just whatever you like, really. You might not like what, what I'm matching up, and that's fine, and we all work. I'm tempted to put that there, and the pink one over here, like that, that's better. It's good for, you know, it, sometimes you think, oh, that colour doesn't go with that, but funnily enough, sometimes the colours work actually work really well together. Another one. And then the next layer is just, like I said, just matching, keep matching them up. I think that goes, that's, just, that's, that's the same as that one there. So do I want the two the same? Or should I put it here on this dotted one? That goes. And I think perhaps I might swap that one out for over here. And this one can go, you can see I didn't, the dime shifted, well, I should use, really, we'll use washi tape, washi tape really, that goes there. And then we go through the next, the next, next layers, next sizes. So, <laughs> keep finding big ones. Put my leaves over here. I don't know. I always end up throwing them away, but because I never know what to do with them, because I don't tend to use them. Um, that's another big one. So where should I put it? We could put. Can't really see it over there. So I'm going to put this over here so I can see it better. This red one. Where should I put the red one? On the orange. On the book page. Got one with a book page already. This is where it gets a bit like, what do I go next? Kind of thing. We put that one there, the orange one there, and the red one there. That works. And that goes nicely there. And there's a dark green one, so we might put that one there, because that looks better there, and put that one there. Right, then we've got the next layers. Well, obviously, you haven't got one. There, so we'll just have because sometimes they're hiding amongst my pile over here. So I'll go on the next level. So I reckon that goes nicely there. I just this is I find this quite um quite a relaxing activity to do. It's the die cutting that takes ages, <laughs> it takes forever. Maybe you could put. Uh, do you reckon that goes there? Hmm, might do. So, like I said, you might think, oh, why is she putting that there? But um, it's just, like I said, a matter of personal, well, uh, what you like. Because even though I've got a die cutting machine, because my brick shock was hurting my shoulder, um, it still takes a while to do the die cutting. So if you don't mind, mind that, then well, I shouldn't say take a while, probably only took me 15 minutes to do, to do this lot really. And that goes there. Yes, why not? That one goes definitely goes there. Oh, I found another big one. <laughs> and I bet you I won't have enough for the little ones. 
I don't think I've got enough of the little ones. You would think you'd have exactly the same because they're just cutting out and cutting out. But probably is what's happened is that some, some are stuck together. So like I said, we just keep going until we've run out. And I reckon I've just about nearly run out. So I don't know what's happened. I think maybe some have just all stuck together. So do I want to check? It could take forever to check. Normally you can see when you when you're doing it. Anyway, I'll just keep going for the time being. That's a blue, so we can go that one there. I know there's two here. That's too busy. I'm not sure we can see these one. Oh sorry. After all that okay, you've messed up. Not too sure if you can see the ones down the bottom, so just realised. too much the same put that one there goes nicely there I know some of them are a bit crooked but that's all right because we can go back over them and after and fix it up a little bit I want that one there I'm worried that these these ones haven't got anything there really I seem to be missing some things I'll have to go back and have a look um, I am missing a big one, but I'm going to put that there just for the time being. Because I reckon it goes really nicely. The pink one, which I didn't cut, that didn't cut properly, so I'll put that there. There's a red one here that can go there. Is that two there? I don't think so. Just one. So where can that one go? It's sort of like a pinky tones. Very pale pink. I think it goes better on that one. Maybe another blue one. I haven't got anything on here. It's too much the same. Somehow or other, I seem to be missing heaps. Or maybe I just didn't cut enough. But can't kind of, because I've got the big ones there, so I must have ones that match. That's weird. <laughs> Obviously some are stuck together and I haven't found the ones stuck together. Um, that goes there, I reckon. And a light green one. Where should I put it? No. Hmm. Hmm. I think I can actually think that way it works. And a dotty one. Did I do two dotty ones or one dotty one? Got... That's why they are stuck together. I have to go back and have a look after I've shown you the process. <clears throat> uh, where should I put this one? Too much, too much choice. I think I might put this dotty one. That's the same size as that one, though. Do you reckon? What's going on here? Maybe we can put the orange one there in the middle there, like that, and that one there. Oh, that's too busy. Too busy. That's why we do the cardstock ones, okay, to break it up. There's a white one there. It's the same size, I reckon. It's a bit fallen off, though. Can't use that one. Um, maybe we could do this. That's better. There's about there's loads of layers, and then you could just make them like that and make the small ones separate. Up to, you know, like you don't have to put them all together like I do. I mean, that's the the point of having a uh, flower board, you can do the whole lot, or you can just do as little as you like. I think it's whatever you, whatever you want to do. But um, 
I never know sometimes I'm quite happy to build them up if I've got anything left over <clears throat> then I will just make the small ones no, I don't know where to put that one there that one there it's got different colors on it so did I put that around the right way I don't think I did Oh, this, I just said this is so nice. One or two, I'm just trying to determine if there's one or two. Pink. And then uh, afterwards, I'll um, glue them down. Two there. Purple. We should put a purple one here. Light purple. Two there, I think so. I just spread out my text ones as well so they don't all sort of like double up on ones I've already got text on there. This is a purpley purple green one. Lots of the purple green ones have already got stuff on them that could be a bit busy. Maybe. No. That's on there already. No. I have got purple and green one on this one already, but I don't know. I don't know. Just have to put them to one side for a moment. And sometimes that's what happens. You end up with things thinking, oh... What I've got left doesn't go, and then you just then you, then I just leave it off like I did that one there. Yeah, I don't know if that goes there at all, really. I think that goes there better. I think that goes there. The orange toned one. Another orange one. Do you know what? I'm actually tempted to put that there because I reckon that sort of colours go. Or I could put it over here on the one that's got lots of colours on it. That goes too. And this is a pinky toned one as well. Where does it go there? I don't know. It goes there better. I think and the blue one. Nearly getting down to the last bits now. Blue. There. Right, then you get this the stamen bits now. So some haven't got anything really. Do you reckon that might go there? Mm, not really, okay. Is that two or one? A bit hard to tell for some of them. And remembering that sometimes the middles of flowers are yellow or red or it does I don't think it matters if you put a um a, an orange like in a green maybe again if it's not your cup of tea. I think some of, some of them won't go, so I'll have to just leave them off because I've got too many of them. That goes there. Blue. Hmm. 
Red. Red. No. No. I think I'll have to go red on red. And actually it goes it looks all right actually. Pink. Or a pinky toned one. That sort of disappears, that one does. Goes on that one there, I think. And another blue one there. Oh, it's the same as before. Does it matter, Kay? No, not really. Green ones. I'll have to go in there. And some text ones that which are joined together. It's just too busy, but I can't put that there. Can't see it. But like I see, I can see these some are not haven't got anything on them. Pink. There. That one's lost. So I might put to put it somewhere else. This one's a different pattern again. It's got stripes on it. Hmm, I think that goes there actually. And nearly there. Oh, I found one of those um, other ones, other sizes. Got left behind. Pink. I've got loads of pink ones. So that goes there. And another text one. I think that's two. Should be two. And it's not coming apart. Oh, I think that's one. So that's going to go there. So that's the only one I couldn't find a home for. No, oh, it definitely doesn't go there. But there. Oh, yes. So after, so now I'll glue them on and then I'll put them away, them in my stash and I'll have them ready to use for when I um, make things. And so with the leaves, I, I just never know. I did try with them with the leaves and I just felt that they were too big, big for my, I personally thought they were too big for myself. Um, but you may like the leaves, you might like, like to make the leaves use the leaves and put another little small flower so if you've got like for instance this bit and this bit together you could put them like that and that would work as well so it's whatever you prefer to do anyway hope that was of some help and um we'll see you next video thank you once again for being here bye bye